cheated. When you need help, she's on your side. Better call Bacon. When do high-pressure sales tactics go too far? An elderly man charged more than $6,000 for skin care products for his wife. The Sun City Center man has Parkinson's disease and what his family calls diminished capacity. They say the Oragold store in the Brandon Mall took advantage of him. His family decided they better call Bankin. Investigator Shannon Bankin joins me now. This is so upsetting. If you have an elderly parent or a grandparent, you can imagine how something like this could happen. That's right, Jen. I was absolutely stunned when I saw these credit card receipts. And to listen to this man's story, it is clear that he was an easy sale. And when his wife took back the products, the owner pointed to a sign, no returns. It happened so fast. Bruce Baylor, 82 years old, with Parkinson's disease and not as sharp as he used to be, strolled by the Oregon Cosmetics store in the Brandon Mall. Before he knew it, he was inside. He grabbed me and said, you know, we want to show you something for your wife. And uh, I was uh, attracted to that idea. Magic wrinkle creams and serums infused with real gold. I was sort of trying to get away. Bruce walked out with a bag of goodies and two big bills, one for $5,020 and one for $1,367, split between two credit cards. His wife, not exactly happy. I was panic. I can't believe that he spent that kind of money. The couple took the stuff back the very next morning. And it points to a sign that says no returns and no refunds, but it was buried under other product. The Baylor's turned eight on your side, and I went to Oregold for answers. Me here. I, we're just trying to get some answers about what happened. I mean, why would you guys sell him $6,500 worth of stuff he doesn't want and then not take it back? If he bought it and he knowingly found something, then there's no refunds. I don't want to do it. So you don't have any refunds? Someone? She insisted she knew nothing about Mr. Baylor, and six grand really isn't that much. Not when the average sale, she told me, is $18,000. 18 grand for face cream? I had to hold on to my wallet for that one. She sent me away with a phone number for the company lawyer. Hey, this is Shannon Bankin. Uh, I called again and again. Yeah, I called last week and left a message, and I haven't heard anything back. Meanwhile, Bruce feels foolish, but he's smart enough to recognize what happened to him at Oregold. I've never been taken so badly in such a short period of time. Bruce and his wife say the salesman told them to trust him because he is Jewish like they are. He also bought them dinner in the mall food court, then took their boxes of creams back to their car. The couple then mailed the product back, so now they don't have the creams and they're still on the hook for thousands of dollars. It's just outrageous when you think about $6,500 for face creams. I mean, that's one issue in itself. You did go to corporate and you talked mm -hmm. to them, and I'm just having a hard time understanding how they can defend this no return policy when the products are so expensive. Well, they're telling us that that is their policy. They don't accept returns. But when I kept pressuring them, they said that each store is independently owned and operated. It would be up to that store to do it. So we're hoping that maybe they'll have a change of heart because we're hearing from a lot of people on social media. They're not happy about this. Well, and there's still time for them to step up That's and right. help this family. Yep. All right. Thank you, Shannon. If you've got a problem and you need a solution, you better call Bankin. Here's the number, 1-855-BANKIN. That's 1-855-234-6536.